get started for free, uh, etc. Read through this here. We've got some videos, etc. Uh, but we're going to scroll down and we want to go through the um, uh, different packages here. Uh, you see the bookmap uh, base, the free one, the bookmap basic, and the bookmap India Pro. Uh, and then also the data package here. Uh, so we'll scroll down a little bit and here are the add-ons here, the advanced add-ons. Uh, and you can see uh, with the different packages what you're getting. Okay, so the, the uh, Bookmap India Basic, um, uh, the one that you're going to get here for free or included with it uh, is the Cumulative Volume Delta CBD. And that's it. Okay, all of the rest here come with the Bookmap India Pro. Uh, now that includes the point of control, the VWAP, the correlation tracker, the absorption indicator, and the sweep indicator. Uh, and um, uh, we'll go through each one at a time and I'll show you where they are, how to add them, etc. Uh, because the process is a little different for each one. So we'll start right off with uh, Cumulative Volume Delta. Uh, this one um, we've had for quite a while uh, in Bookmap uh, and it is, I'll show you here, it is under Studies Configuration here. So click on the Studies Configuration in Bookmap uh, and then in here you'll see Cumulative Volume Delta up here. And then select it with the checkbox and then click on it uh, as well. And uh, now you're looking at the cumulative volume delta. Uh, and uh, uh, the, um, uh, it also shows up in the sub chart down below here. Okay, so now to show, let me just, I'm going to close this window for a moment. Uh, in the sub chart down here, uh, you may see your chart like this right now. Uh, you may need to click on the small arrow. Uh, that's at the bottom of the price ladder. Click on that, open it up, and you can even adjust the height here uh, by when you see the uh, double-sided arrow here, left click, hold, and drag up and down uh, to uh, uh, make it uh, expand it or uh, contract it. Uh, and um, uh, let's go back to the settings here. Okay, we'll click on this uh, and uh, go to uh, cumulative volume delta. Uh, there's different ways of looking at it here, at the compact view, the symmetrical view. Uh, you, you can hover over here uh, and just uh, and go through it and understand what it is in terms of relationship to the axis here. Uh, symmetrical would be that uh, uh, the zero line is right in the middle. Uh, include the zero line means that uh, no matter how big the cumulative volume delta or how small uh, the cumulative volume delta uh, um, is it will still show the zero point in here. And the compact view will not show the zero line. So if you start to zoom in here, uh, you can see that the zero line is not uh, listed in here now. Uh, so uh, it's up to you uh, which one you prefer. Uh, and then here under cumulative volume delta, uh, it's already selected, has a blue line underneath it. You can add multiple cumulative volume deltas in here. We'll go over that in a minute here. Let's just go through the general settings. Uh, order size in here, you can also filter uh, your cumulative volume delta. And I'll go over that in just a second as well. Uh, but the indicator range, uh, session range and chart range. What this means here is since when I opened up my book map, uh, I can have the cumulative volume delta from that entire session. So the readout from when I open it up, and you'll see the number here at the current, the widget panel down here, uh, shows the, uh, the overall number here. Okay, so uh, a pretty high number here, you know, for 422,600. Uh, now watch when I go to chart range. Well, let's zoom in a little bit and then I'll go to chart range here. Then you get a very different output here. Uh, so it's now it's just showing me the cumulative volume delta of my viewable chart range. Okay, so for example, uh, everything in this viewable range, if I zoom in a little bit further, uh, you will get the cumulative volume delta output only for what's in this viewable range right now. And that's it. Okay, so uh, that's the chart range and session range. Uh, and um, uh, you can split out the buyers and sellers. Okay, let's uh, actually go to the default colors here. Uh, and uh, that's a view that uh, many, many people like. Uh, I like to see the just uh, one output line, which is just buy minus sell over time uh, and uh, and that's it now there's many different resets in here as well you can reset now uh, you can add a reset you can clear a reset if you add a reset you can see uh, the time uh, and then also an interval here a 
maybe you want to reset it every five minutes 15 minutes whatever uh, so you can see that this this is uh, maybe a little different than uh, uh, what you're used to in terms of cumulative volume delta uh, there's quite a few different um, uh, options in here and some nice options for resetting also session start which you you can define in here uh, when you uh, check this box here uh, now uh, let's go back up here to the top uh, and go through a few more settings in here uh, you can add multiple cumulative volume deltas so if i click on this here i uh, give it a name i can call it i don't know cbd2 uh, and create it and it has two different lines in here as well uh, and uh, maybe i want to do a filter on this one uh, you can see it popped it down here as well in the wid widget panel uh, now let's go over the filtering uh, and we'll make it we'll make a distinction between these two different cvds in here uh, under CVD2, it's selected, it has the blue line underneath it. Uh, and then I'm going to um, uh, select minimum accountable volume size. So just show me, and let's just bump this number up uh, to 12, or let's, let's go quite a bit higher here. Uh, in fact, let's input like, uh, uh, I don't know, 550. Okay, all right. So what this is saying here is, um, uh, the volume size here uh, is, is being filtered in, and taking away any small transactions. And you can see the distinction down in the, in the cumulative volume delta here. Okay? So this line here is showing every single transaction, whereas this line here is not. It's being filtered. Okay? And uh, they're very equal here. Um, there's going to be some slight differences in here, but uh, uh, you know, you play around with the filters to, uh, uh, you know, give something that uh, uh, maybe maybe you need to bump it up to, to look at, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a bigger uh, 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 output here uh, to see a distinction in here. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to ascertain between the filtering in here between two different larger larger players and all players or larger players and smaller players. So with if we click back on the original cumulative volume delta here, okay, and we, we put in maximum size, uh, and we input, uh, well, let's say, um, you know, 500. So it, show me anything that is uh, 500 or less. Uh, and, um, and we zoom out here. So you can see a big distinction now uh, between the two. Right? So uh, anyway. Uh, that's some of the filtering here uh, with the cumulative volume delta uh, and the different settings in here as well.